All right, so this is the first vlog I've done in a very long time, since I've got Sabre, actually. Um, so I thought I would do a vlog on a day with a German Shepherd puppy, um, to sort of show you what my routine is, you know, when I get out, what I do straight away. Um, and he's up already. I've only literally just got up, so I'll show you the first thing to do. The first thing we do in the morning is I take him for a walk straight away. Um, and then I have my breakfast and he eats his after mine. Um, I take him out straight away so he can pee and poo. Um, you know, that's his morning routine now. And he's up, he's already raring to go. He's going to get up on my bed now, I can feel it. What are you doing? Anyway, so I'll show you how excited he gets um, when I'd say the, the magic word. What are you doing? Sabre? Sabre? Good boy. Right, I'll show you that. So he decided to get up on the bed and look out the window at people. You spying on people, huh? Is that what you're doing? You spying on people? Who's out there? Who's out there? Who's spying at? Do you want to go walkies? <laughs> Do we go walkies? Are you sure? Come on in. Let's go walkies. Let's go walkies. Come on. Let's go walkies. Yeah, well, that's a little stretch. Come on. Let's go walkies. Come on then. So we've got the harness on. And I've got my poo bags. Because he normally does his little morning poo. Mum just got up as well. So he's he's wanting to say hello. But come on. We're going to go walkies. Wait. So I've sort of taught him door manners now as well. Wait. He does not go out the door until I say he can. Stay. Say, Ma. Come. Okay. Come on then, let's go for the walk. He always looks for a cat. The same position he always looks for the cat. There's no cat there. See, I'm sorry I haven't done any vlogs. Um, since I got him, really. Well, my phone broke as well. So I couldn't do any good, good videos. No audio. Good eye. Yeah, packet of crisps. There you go. Porn cocktail. Do you like that? You don't eat crisps. Come on. <laughs> oh, butterfly. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah, they're flowers. They're someone's flowers, Saber. What? Oh, just have a pee on someone's flowers. Yeah, that's... Jesus. <laughs> this is normally where he pees. Is he going to do another one? Yep. Yes, he is. Sit. Poor. Good boy. Speak. Good boy. Come. Don't go in someone's bushes. No, don't. You're not pooing, are you? Sabre. Sabre. <laughs> so now the sun's actually come out, which is nice. So it looks a little bit better. So maybe we're going to go to the park today. Come on. He's beautiful now, isn't he? Good morning. Hard work, but it's uh, really worth it in the end. Wait, wait. I know you want to say hello to everyone, don't you? He doesn't know where to go. Come on. Come on in. <laughs> Come on. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Should we get that harness off? Oh, you've let yourself into the front room. And you got the ball instantly. Is that what you want to do? Is it play with the ball straight away in the morning? Oh my god, excuse the mess. This is what having a German Shepherd puppy is about. You sure? <laughs> Spin. Good boy, go on then. Oh! Came right back at me, that was amazing. Spin. <laughs> go on. Good boy. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. <laughs> Come. Good boy. Good boy.
down. Good boy. Speak. <laughs> Spin. You sure? <laughs> Come on. So he does this, and I'm not. I'm, I'm telling you now. He tries to do it 100% of the time. He tries to get up on that step and drop it so that it comes back down to me so that I can kick it. And I've got it under my shoe now, and he just he, he's fixated. Look at him. <laughs> Look how fixated this dog is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick it. Go kick it. Good boy. Well, I need to get my breakfast, dog. So I'm gonna go do that because I'm starving. What you got? Don't you want your dinner? Don't you want your dinner? <gasps> you want your dinner? Come. Down. Wait. Right, so normally he stays there um, while I get the food. He moans a bit because he's excited. <laughs> this is beef and tripe, which is gross. Um, I'm introducing turkey uh, into his uh, raw diet at the moment, so I don't give him a full packet or half a packet. I'm basically giving him um, about 25% of this of this packet. They're about 500 grams each. Um, so what I do, I will try and hopefully with no mess. I do that. Thank you. Try and get 25% of it. So put that in. Oh, it's gross. There you go. Try and get some of the juices in. Because uh, he loves that. Alright, mate, calm down. Alright, so this is it. <laughs> right, so I mess that in. And then the next thing I do, um, he gets two raw chicken wings. Um, so you can see here. Look, how lovely is that look? Stay. <laughs> So you get one and two of them. So I'll put that there. And he also gets, um, where's the kidney actually? There's a bit of kidney in there. Uh, you can't, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this. Mm. Can you see that? Is that Gross, cleaner? yes. Um, so yeah, he gets a little bit of that. That's 5% of the, of the meal. And then for his coat, at the moment I'm giving him um, a teaspoon of coconut oil for his coat. I will be changing this to fish oil, uh, salmon oil, um, soon, but I just haven't got any yet. He's creeping in. He's like he's slowly shuffling himself in. But he's not in though, he's a good yeah, boy. Yeah, he's good. Right, so that's that. That's pretty much the meal done. I'm going to put it on the floor. Um, he's not allowed to go to it. So I'm going to try and get him to do some uh, tricks before he's before he can eat. Spin. Sit. Good boy. Wait. 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 Got it. Good boy. He gets spoiled. He eats better than me. It feels like at times. There's something very satisfying about watching the dog eat. I'm not really sure what it is. Um. Especially when they're loving it so much. Normally he goes for the chicken wings first. But this time he's, he's getting stuck into the turkey and beef and tripe. There you go, he's got the chicken. There you go. Crunching that up, aren't you? See, most people think that um, chicken bones are bad for dogs. The, the thing about chicken bones is when you cook them, they get brittle and they get uh, they can splinter. But when they're raw bone, they're actually quite they're pretty a soft bone. They're very soft, easy easily digestible. Um, they don't splinter in the dog's stomach or anything like that. So raw chicken wings is fine. But if you cook them, then it's very bad. Um, so you just got to be careful with that. Most people are like oh you shouldn't feed them raw, you know about their stomachs. But actually their stomachs are much more um, they're stronger than ours. Basically their digestive tract and their, their their stomachs can actually sort of burn a lot away the things that we couldn't as humans so saying like raw chicken um us it would make us pretty ill but with dogs it's, it's no problem i mean that's what they'd be eating in the wild they'd be eating raw constantly they wouldn't be eating kibble 
Um, I, I seem to have got to be a bit of a snob with food. Um, I really like giving them raw, and when I hear people that they're giving them their dogs raw, I, f I feel like it's the best thing they can do for a dog, um, especially a big, big breed like this. I think that he's really thriving on it. Um, I think he looks perfect. He's not too overweight. He's not too skinny. He's perfectly in the middle. He's growing really well, and he loves it. I mean, that's the biggest thing. He, he actually hated kibble. Sabre actually hated kibble. I had to hand feed him each piece of kibble when he was uh, eight weeks old when I was feeding him. He, he couldn't stand the stuff. So I think from right from the start, you know, he was like, give me something better than this. <laughs> you know, this is uh, up to my standards or whatever. So, you know, from then it only took about a month and uh, a friend of mine was saying, why don't you try him on raw? It's the best thing for them. I'll just leave the chicken there, yeah? Just, just take it out of the bowl, Sabre, and leave the chicken on the floor. That's nice. I'll have to clean the floor now. Brilliant. <laughs> so I looked into it and everything, and uh, I found a place that was really good prices wise. Because at first it was too expensive, I was spending a lot of money, didn't know what I was doing, didn't know if I was feeding him enough. Um, at the start, I was just feeding him tripe, but that wasn't enough. You know, I have to feed him about five meat, different types of meats in a two in two weeks. Or... What you got to do with raw food? Uh, it's the sort of standard, it's 80% meat, 10% bone, 5% kidney, 5% liver, or well, 5% of a different type of offal. Um, so it can be kidney, liver, and anything that is an offal. Is it going to go back to the chicken wing? And then you put a bit of um, sa salmon oil, um, coconut oil if you want. Coconut oil, not as much, it's a bit more fattening, um, but it's great for the coat. But uh, salmon oil is just amazing. A little bit, of, little bits of fish could be good as well. Natural, natural oils from them. But he, he absolutely downs this stuff. He loves it. And just like I said, I love seeing him really happy with his food. But well, I'll let him get on with that. And uh, the next thing we're going to be doing, guys, is I normally wait about an hour for his uh, stomach to settle after he's eaten this big meal, and then I'm going to take him to the park um, to run around and play with the ball and maybe do some tricks. Do you want to go to the park? Do you want to go walkies? Do you want to go walkies? Yeah? Oh god! Oh god, he jumped up. He got excited. Go to the park! Right, so for the park, we got to get a whole massive bottle of water. We've got to get a bowl for him, so we can put that in. He knows where we're going. As soon as we get a bag, he knows where we're going. Good boy, can I have the ball? Good boy! Put that in the bag. Is it? Good, good boy. boy. He's a very good boy. Why are you getting this stuff done? Wait. Wait. Come. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Welcome to Good boy. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Let me get this off. He wants water instantly. <laughs> he has to get it from the bottle, doesn't he? Oh, he loves doing it from the bottle. Good boy. Where's your ball? Where's your ball? <laughs> He's ready to go. Come on then. Come on then. Spin. Speak. <laughs> Speak! <laughs> Good boy, go on in! <laughs> Good boy, come on! <laughs> Good boy! Oh, don't drop it in the water! Oh, oh they got it! Right, that's it! I'm gonna get you! That's it! Gonna get ya! I know he's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. Ah, oh, he got me! <laughs> I didn't even tell you to spin. Spin. There you go. Down. Wait. Wait. 
Wait. Wait. Come on in. Oh, go get it. Are you excited? He never gets it, he always goes past it. Has he got a leaf? Has he got a leaf with his face now? <laughs> you got a leaf on your face, mate? Oh, he's going to say hello to everyone now. He's got to say hello, hasn't he? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Why is the ball in the water again? Ah. What's wrong with you? The beautiful dog. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Oh, he's a big beast. He's a big beast. Who's a big beast? Do you want the ball? <laughs> yes, he wants the ball. Are you sure? Good boy. Good boy, come on. Come on. Up. Good boy. I know you want to say hello to everyone, don't you? Good boy. Good boy. Do you go home? Gosh, I'm very wobbly. What? I'm very wobbly. Well, you are a human being, so... <laughs> I'm just one big wobble. Yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, another pee. This is filming peeing. <laughs> That's what we do. It's very interesting. Yeah. Blog-worthy. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm so wobbly. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. I hope. <laughs> he's being very good. This is what he's like more normally on a normal yeah, walk. This is what he's like when he normally walks. But if you're going if on the way to the park, uh, like we couldn't even film him. Good boy. Pop. Good boy. Speak. Speak. Well, that was good enough. Good boy. Come. <laughs> he doesn't know where he went. <laughs> Good boy. Come on. Okay, I'm just going to turn out here because you make an absolute mess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he is out of it. Oh. So um, this is the aftermath of uh, going to the park for like half an hour. He's a bit out of breath. So I'm going to wait for him to uh, calm down a little bit. Uh, give him about half an hour to sort of get his breath back. And then I'm uh, going to give him a mouth bone. Oh, he's seen something. What's he seen? 
He's always on alert, isn't he? Look at him. I can't even get him in the shot. He's so big. And I'm, I'm like leaning back on my chair at my computer right now. Oh, what have I got? I put the marrow bone into a poo scented bag purely because the smell of a marrow bone isn't the best smell in the world, really. This marrow bone is gross, Sabre. You've even got bits of his dog hair on it. He wants it. You want it? Are you sure? <laughs> Spin. All right, if you want it. Do you want your dinner? Shall we get you your dinner? <gasps> Shall we get you your dinner? Down. Good boy. Wait. I know you're excited, but you gotta wait. So it's the same as uh, what he had for breakfast, but this time he's actually got a raw egg in there, um, which is great for protein and stuff like that. So I give him that about every three days um, to give him a little bit of extra boost. So he's got the kidney buried in there. That's a massive chicken wing. That is huge, that one. But, um, so yeah, this is, look at this. Luxury dinner for this dog. Does he deserve it? Yes. Yes, he does. Okay, wait. Spin. Spin. Good boy, wait. Go on then. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, what's that? He's gone straight for the egg, isn't he? Oh, he likes that. Good <laughs> oh boy. He ate that fast, didn't you? You like that? Right, so while he's finishing his dinner, we've got to get his food out for tomorrow. Um, he's got his own freezer, by the way, which is nuts, because I got I normally get like a two-week supply, um, you know, as I order, so that I don't have to keep ordering every week. So here we've got uh, raw liver chunks. So I've got to cut some of that out so that I can be for tomorrow. This. It's upside down, but it's chicken wings, as you can see in there. There's chicken wings, and then if we open up this bit here, you can see all his food in there. So there you've got turkey, which I'm introducing to him now this week. Um, there is lamb, which is going to be next week after he's got used to turkey. Um, and this is his beef and tripe here. Um, so I've got to get out two pieces of beef and tripe. So like that. And I've got to get him out a turkey as well. And then four chicken wings. So that's one, two, bloody hell, that's a big chicken wing. Three, it's got bones sticking out, look at that, lovely. Four, there you go, the kidney. That should be enough for tomorrow. Because you don't need much kidney. Um, might have to get a little bit more in a bit, but that's that's pretty much what it is. Right, so that's his food prepared for tomorrow. It's going to defrost overnight, and then he'll be all set for his morning breakfast and dinner. And I put the rest of the turkey in the fridge, so that that will be all right for tomorrow as well. And uh, that's pretty much it. So the only thing I've got to do now with him tonight, where's he gone? I've got to take him for his last walk. Um, around about nine o'clock after I finished playing games with my mates. And uh, normally I'd walk in four times a day, but as I've taken him to the park today, I don't want to overdo it on the exercise part for his hips. So he's got one walk in the morning. He went to the park for about half an hour, really tired him out. So and then I'm going to take him one before we go to bed tonight. Are we going to go walkies? Come on in, sit. 
Wait. Come. Very reflective, your harness. So we're going to be going to get Nan, or my mum, from uh, from my uncle's place to take him for his last walk. Come on in. Right, we got Nanny. Let's go for your last walk. <laughs> oh, he loves it when you run with him. Oh, brilliant. No. Oh, you've made it so awkward. Come on. Biting the lead when he runs, like holding it in his mouth. Oh, that's cute. Oh, oh no, I'm not cut out for it. It's like, who is this? My laces are coming down. I could have died. <laughs> so you laugh in your hands when you run with this dog. They're not dangerous. I am. <laughs> with one, I killed myself. <laughs> oh. oh, don't you put your glasses yeah. on. Why are you your glasses on? Because they're stuck to my point. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm hoping you're getting this thing. Oh. No, I'm not getting any of it. Oh, it's Saber! <laughs> oh, it's Saber! Oh. I'm sorry, Matt, I didn't realise it was Saber. Hello! 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 Hi! Hi! Hello! Can I go around me? Oh. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. It's getting oh, so you're excited. Oh, you Shepherd. Are you right? Yeah. 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 It's too yeah. excited. It's massive. He's massive. Can you see calm down now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good boy. 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 Shiny boy! He's a shiny dog! <laughs> Uber von shiny dog. Oh no, what's he eating? He's he eating. Oh, he's I thought he was. He's peeing up against the wall again. Good <laughs> oh, boy! Peeing like a man! Peeing like a man! Peeing like a man! <laughs> <laughs> got a bit scared. That's because he got scared, didn't you? He wants to say hello now. He's only eight months old, so he's just like where he's doing the hell is. Good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy. There you are. Come on. He's getting better. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. He's <laughs> seeing people, so have a look over there while he's sitting. Good boy. Good boy. Speak. 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 Good boy. I'll get there, I feel my... Jesus. <laughs> Hello. Oh, my God. Tell me what I want to know. <laughs> I sounded Transylvania rather than German. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you wanna run? You wanna run? You wanna run? Come on in. Come on in. Oh. You can run all day, can you? 
Who's got the wiggliest bum? You Me. or Sather? Me. <laughs> look, how, look at wiggle. Look at that wiggle. Look at that wiggle. I don't know, I think Sather's got your beat. It's a natural sassy wiggle. He's like, come on girls. You know you sniff want it. <laughs> Stop! Come and sniff it. Will his tail get more bushy than it is now? Um, well, I was reading that. Because he doesn't molt that much, does he, for a German shepherd? No. But I was reading that this like, full on coat doesn't come through until they're like two. Oh my gosh. So, yes, he will molt probably oh a lot. Oh dear. Um, and the tail probably Well, that's through. when we'll get rid of him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just when we all love him. Hardship of, of raising him. Just when we love him so much, we can't bear you know, it. Day in, day out, hours and hours putting in constant work. But as soon as there's too much hair around, <laughs> like, that's it now, that's the line. Good boy. Speak. 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 I want a proper speak. Come on, speak. <laughs> I gave you his <laughs> Speak. Oh, that's good enough. Oh, but hang on, there's a car Wait. coming now. Wait. Oh, he landed on you. <laughs> and another Wait. one. Wait. Come. Look how loose you've got the lead. I said, look how loose you've got the lead. He's so good. Used to be a nightmare when there was two of us. Now he's good as gold. Except tangling me around things. <laughs> Good boy. Say goodnight. Right, so that's been a day with a German Shepherd. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It's quite a long one compared to my other ones. Or my other one. Um, this is, I don't know how long this is going to be after I edit it, but I know I've done a lot of footage today, so it's going to be probably pretty damn long um, it's pretty late it's half 12 so I'm tired as well and so is he as you can see look at him you tired should we go to bed I mean we should go to bed so yeah we're gonna go to sleep now um, I do plan to do many more vlogs a lot more actually um, I want to take him to different places where I live there's a lot of places that would be amazing on video of him running around and stuff like that. I want to go to a few beaches now. This time of year is perfect to go to beaches because it doesn't have restriction anymore um, about where dogs can go and what parts of the beach they can go. They can just go anywhere. So there's a love, I'm pretty much surrounded by beaches so I can go to all of them. Um, and I've got a few uh, activities I want to uh, start doing with him. Maybe some, you know, better obedience training, um, some agility training, you know, all this kind of stuff that I really want to want to get into. Um, and sort of show the progress with him and and how that's going. I hope you enjoyed this. It's been very long um, it's, it's a long editing process um, And I think this is going to be a lot longer than I wanted it to be But I hope that's all right, and I hope that this is enough of a fix so far until uh, until I do another one And I'll see you in the next one So this is what a day of playing with a German Shepherd does. He ends up like this most nights and I just, I don't know how he gets in these weird positions and how it's comfortable for him, but this is, seems to be his favourite of going on his back with his feet in the air. Look <laughs> his little head. <laughs> he doesn't even care that I'm filming him. Ah. Oh.